shocking news on the federal politics front, and it's affecting the mayor of Brampton, Patrick Brown. He was also in the race to becoming the next federal conservative leader. That is no longer after he was disqualified last night. The leadership election organizing committee sent out a statement last night saying that Brown has been disqualified after they learned of serious allegations of wrongdoing when it comes to campaign finances, although they did not provide any further details when it comes to exactly what is behind those allegations. They also say that they provided the campaign sufficient time in order to refute these allegations and they did not receive a response that was satisfactory. So at this point, a disqualification was the only route that they could take. Now that's something that Brown's campaign completely denies. They say they learned of the disqualification in the media, say that they were not given at all due process in order to uh, address these allegations. They also say in part in a statement released very early this morning, why is the party doing this? It was expecting a coronation for Pierre Polyev. When the final membership numbers came in, it became clear Polyev did not have the points to win this race. The attempt to silence Canadians and skirt democratic values through this unfounded disqualification is the only way to ensure his victory was secured. Apoliev is one of the front runners in this race who remain, as well as Jean Charest, who put out a statement saying that he expects that more details should be coming out about these allegations. He calls this disqualification troubling and says that transparency is needed for all party members. As for Patrick Brown's campaign, they say they are now consulting their legal team. I'm Tammy Sutherland in Brampton for City News.